Hi, I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome to Lancashire DAF here in Preston in the UK. I'll be showing you around the new DAF generation. We've got the XF, XG and XG Plus. I'll be showing you around these three models. We've got a lot to go through in this video and we'll also be going on a test drive. So let's check out the new generation DAFs. Finished here in Tuscan yellow metallic really striking color for the launch of the new generation DAFs. So on my left, the XG, on my right, the XF, and of course there is an XG Plus, which we will show you around later on, the inside of that truck, just to see the comparison between the insides of the cabs, because the XG is obviously bigger than the XF, and the XG Plus bigger again. But yeah, we have the DAF digital vision system there, uh, the mirror cam feature so they do fold in which is handy for truck washes and you can see there as well the front mud guard the way it's shaped that's all done for aerodynamics but uh, obviously you're going to see a lot of dirt there it's not going to be as hidden as on the old mud guards but as I said it's all done for aerodynamic improvements it, even if I open the door there you see look we have these little rubber flaps here all to cut down on the drag and we have three steps going up into the cab we do have a small hump here 30 millimeters so it's not a completely flat floor so it's the very same on the xg plus so we don't have any flat floors in any of the new generation trucks but we do have full led headlights all leds on the exterior and you can get full leds on the interior as well as an option and you see there the xf that also has the digital vision system now if you look over on the windscreen on the xf here you'll see we do have the mirror there so you can get that on the front if you don't want the digital vision system here but i actually think this is very good when i hop inside i'll show you this it gives you great vision all around here all around that area there so i really like that so yeah we've got a 490 liter diesel tank and you've got your hydraulic fluid tank on the driver's side and all your hydraulic hoses yeah it's a 6x2 mid lift yeah they are uh, quite a big cab though and you see the bed there as well it's 800 millimeters wide uh, really wide bed on them and we have led lights on the rear there as well i like the number plate look at the number plate there uh, very handy to have that and yeah you've got your batteries there at the back as well and that is a slideable fifth wheel there and it's sitting on 70 profile tires there Dunlops yeah steel wheels of course you can get aluminium wheels that will cut down on your weight as well but yeah the color really looks well <laughs> in the Sun okay we're gonna hop inside and first of all I'm gonna show you this locker because these lockers on the XG and XG plus are bigger than the XF and I'll show you the XF locker there later on but yeah they're quite a big size decent size and you can also access them from underneath the bunk as well but so you've one of equal size on the passenger side so let's close that yeah and three steps as I said climbing up into the cab and we have a speaker here and we have tweeters there on the pillars fabric finish around here and he that's your door handle there just pull that up and plus you have it's easier to grab that top step so before you had to kind of really put out your foot to grab that top step but now you see there it is easier to grab it because of the way it's shaped here so I like that and the seat there as well ah oh yeah nice microfiber finish on it there and leatherette all around the side and of course heated and cooled and you've got your lumbar support and your leveling there for the back axle so that's just your hydraulic lever there for the tipping gear on the trailer well look at the bunk there look <laughs> look at the way it's shaped so it's done by these switches here so that is a uh, quite a relaxing bunk and even the mattress itself is very soft look at that look and then you can get this mattress topper I'd love to have that on the truck I drive <laughs> look at that so you can get great comfort on the bunk and your top bunk as well 
that is nice and wide so as I said these two bunks are wider than the XF you can even see look the length of the cab compared to this XG so yeah the XF but this one does have one of these small windows on the passenger side door so I'm going to show you the visibility out of this cab when we hop inside and just have a look at the vision here that you have from the digital vision system there look so that's that view all around the cab so look look just how much of the trailer it's picking up see that look so this would be a very good blind spot camera for cars coming up your inside really like that and you have the mirror cam feature here the digital vision system and your air vents the way they're designed and I don't really like the way you can see the body color inside uh, they should have really have hidden that away with trim anyway we have storage here down the side and you have three lockers here decent storage in them and there is fabric on the inside as well just to stop things from making rattling noises up on top of the lockers there you go close them down and yeah we have the sunroof there you've got a, a block out blind and your fly net and we can open it up there you go is that opening yeah it's just tilting open there and close it down again now we just have one light on the top bump we don't have any controls up here but we have controls down there for your stereo and you can lock the doors and there's even a panic button here as well so you can press that and it will sound the alarm and you have your lighting functions there and storage all around the back wall there as well so yeah you can lift up the bunk and you can gain access to the outside lockers underneath here as well in there so and let me just pull this out so we have a storage box there that's a good size and i really like these dividers see that you can move them all down along so that's a nice piece of design i like that and we have the fridge here as well so we can keep it out and it'll stay in place and you have two bottle holders there they're nice and deep and we have decent storage in the fridge there so that's an okay size now you can get two fridges if you want one here as well that is an option you can pick and we have armrests there for both sides of the seats and those seats do swivel so let me see can I swivel that now and show you guys yeah there you go so we can swing that all the way around I like that and we can also do it with the driver's side so you can swivel the driver's side now it is a bit awkward once you have the tipping gear lever here you probably won't be able to swing this fully around but yeah you can swivel the driver's seat now over in the daft I'll show you there is a cinema seat in the passenger side and that folds up uh, the seat base so it gives you better vision looking out through that side window uh, yeah there is a lot of information <laughs> in this video okay so let me just move down here we do have a pull out drawer that's a good size and your two cup holders and we have a nice little see see how far that extends out and then we have a big area here where you can place items and that's nice and soft as well so nothing's going to be sliding around too much on that which is good uh, probably be a bit hard to clean in around there though anyway that's a nice pull out table there and if I zoom in there you'll see we do have a USB port and so that is for your Android Auto or Apple CarPlay which is done on the screen here and we have two more USBs on the side there yeah so it's all looking quite nice an awful pity it doesn't have a completely flat floor but I suppose DAF did that to save money so they'd only always have to have three steps on the XG XG plus and XF so close the door we have a button here where I can pull down the steering which is good and yeah we're gonna start it up see what it sounds like let me just give you a start up here on the 13 litre straight six cylinder diesel engine now you see this display we can change this to a more modern style 
So if I go down through the menu here and click over on the right hand side, let me just turn down the music here. If I flick over, I can change the style of that display. So let me click on yeah, display settings. Watch this now, watch. If I click on that, and then if I go over to, you see the way it's on classical? I can change that to modern. If I click on that, then we come back on our display. You should be able to see a completely different layout on the rev counter. See that, and the speedo. If I rev it up now, look. Yeah, so you have two different displays there if you wish. And yeah, you can have, you can display different information as well on this screen. And yeah, now this infotainment screen here, there is an awful reflection on it, isn't there? Why is there such a bad reflection on it? But anyway, um, you can have your Apple CarPlay, as I said, Android Auto, and various different functions on the screen there as well. Yeah, I do like the fact that we have a proper knob here for the stereo and just switch it off there. So over here we have our PTO, we have our load transfer switch, and um, traction control, diff lock, you can turn off the rear reversing buzzer and your mid lift and your diesel particulate filter regen on that and your leveling there for the axle and down here for your air conditioning and more lighting switches up here and the height of the truck there 13 foot 4 inches so you can fold in the mirrors just by one touch of this button here and you'll notice fold it out and then we can fold them back in so I like that it's very handy for going through truck washes and maybe down a narrow road with trees and you just want to fold them in just to protect them I have the display there changed back to the classical layout give it a couple of revs now the stalks here are quite thick for an indicator stalk that is quite thick and then we have these little wheel design here for the windscreen wipers you can do them from the back you see the way look the wheel goes right around to the back on each side and here as well we have our engine brake three stage engine brake and we have different mode functions here and drive neutral and reverse on the stock here as well and over on this side we have horn you can of course get an air horn and your windscreen washers now you'll notice we just have two wipers on the older DAF XFs of course we had three wipers because it was a narrower windscreen but now we have a bigger windscreen by 33 percent and 15 percent bigger uh, door windows as well so that's all very good and you see the lines there as well so you can set these lines you see the red line you can set that for the back of the trailer just to give you an idea where the back of the trailer is using the digital vision system so let me just zoom in there yeah you'll see it there on the driver's side and of course we have a wide angle one there at the bottom but as I said already this angle here for the uh, the blind spot one I really like that that's a, a great addition I would uh, recommend that now of course you can get normal mirrors as well if you just want this that one there you can just get that and have normal mirrors and not have the digital vision system for the main mirrors here you can do that if you want and we have our cruise control functions and going down through the menu here and volume up and down and your stereo functions as well and voice activation so yeah let me just hop out of the driver's seat i have the bunk now folded up and as i said before you can get access to the lockers underneath just by lifting up that cover if you want and let me just drop down the bunk there as well so there you go 800 millimeters wide so of course other trucks will be 800 mil out here but then there's a cut out but look at this this is 800 mil full size full width <laughs> so yeah quite good so let me just give you a proper look at the dashboard just move back there so yeah it is a huge improvement over the old one but it still has a daft look to it all around here doesn't it the design and the red seat belts there as well so yeah i think i'm just going to give you a quick look at the daft xf and then we're going to go for a drive in this truck as well so just one last look of the xg before we now move on to the xf 
Now you'll notice that both of these trucks don't have the visor above the windscreen and I think the new generation trucks look better without the visor. All that does is increase your aerodynamic drag. Uh, you can get air horns as well on the roof if you wish. Let me just hop inside the XF just to give you guys a look and I'll show you the locker here as well. Now of course these are smaller because the length of the cab is smaller and you've also got smaller bunks but it's still an okay size on the XF. Give this a good push in. There we go. And we have 710 litres uh, in the diesel tanks. Of course you've got bigger capacity than on this one. This is 490 litres because of the hydraulic fluid system. That's your hydraulic fluid as I said over on that tank. So yeah, 710 litres. It's not a great amount but it's pretty okay. Now you'll notice we of course have the same three steps on the XF but we have a bigger engine hump here in the middle. The very same driver's seat with the red seat belt and of course the narrower bunk. Now you see the way the seats kind of eat into the bunk here, the way they're shaped because of the smaller cab and yeah the same smaller bunk here up on top as well but I like this sliding ladder. Look at that, that's a nice touch. And there is your cinema style passenger seat. So this gives you better visibility out through that window. And it's very good for these new vision standards that are coming into London. So uh, this has a three star rating, this truck, because it has this window here and we have, uh, yeah. So that is the mirror there. If you don't want to have the digital vision system here above the main camera mirror system there. So yeah, that's all very good. Um, I'm, I'm still a bit 50-50 on these. Uh, I, I'd nearly prefer just to have normal mirrors, but this is the way things are going in the future for uh, better aerodynamics. So there you go. Uh, the Piano Black, I'm not really too uh, pushed about this Piano Black finish all around here. I mean, it is gonna get scratched easy and show fingerprints and dust and, yeah, so uh, I would have nearly have done without this piano black finish. And as I said already, the infotainment screen, there's just too much of a shine on it. Uh, it's reflecting too much. Anyway, these can all be improved over time, I'm sure. Let's just hop out and give you one last look. Let's step right back and check out the Tuscan yellow metallic with the sun today. Now, I think it's time to get behind the wheel of the XF and see what it's like on the road. Okay, Harvey, you're going to talk to us now about this new vision standard that's coming into London as I just pull out the trailer here. Yes, so yeah, di direct vision standard is uh, is now active in London and at the moment, you know, a customer needs a minimum of one star to take the, the truck into London or a permit to operate a vehicle in London. Once we go to October 2024, the, uh, the standards go up to three stars. So a lot of customers are now looking forward to, to October and beyond. Oh, the yeah. beauty with any vehicles with a three star rating or higher is you get a, a permit for 10 years. So this vehicle... Um, All right, so you have a permit for this for 10 years? For 10 years. Three star rating? Three star rating will give you access to London for 10 years. Yeah. Um, so this is the XF. This is a vehicle that we can get three stars on and there are a couple of features that you need to select to be able to do it. So you need the curb view window oh, with yeah, the yeah. cinema seat. You need the... Um, the DAF vision system okay. and you need the DAF vision dashboard providing we specify with those three options oh, yeah. then the, the truck will uh, will get uh, a three star rating go on to the TFL um, information and you can upload it and get an, a permit to operate in London and Harvey what sort of trucks are five star then? so the five star trucks are generally your, your low entry um, refuse type vehicles such as the Mercedes Benz Iconic and the, uh, the the Dennis Eagle oh, refuse yeah. truck. There's only two, as far as I'm aware, that uh, that will meet five stars. Yeah, um, the Scania L series would be the same. Possibly, yeah. yes. Low entry, yeah. Yeah, low entry. Obviously, you need you know high level of vision around the uh, around the vehicle. Yeah. Um, and the sensor at the side, you said, is for this is part of the three star rating, isn't it? To it, detect it, cyclists or cars coming up yeah, here inside. Le left turn assist is, is a side, a, a factory based radar side scan system. Mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. and you can see down here under the um, the camera screen at this side this is yeah. the um, you know the, the, the speaker that notify, notifies you but that radar will work to the front of the front corner of the truck and down the side of the uh, the trailer as well so you know particularly in London again you know you can have cyclists moving at high speed and be alongside the, uh, the the truck and the trailer very very quickly so that adds an extra amount of protection for the driver and then there's an orange lamp at the left side as yes, well. Yes, yeah. So we fit, we fit on the on this truck, this demo truck, an Amber Valley left turn audible warning system. So that's that's a spoken left turn warning again to um, warn vulnerable uh, road users. And it's also got strobe lights on it. So at night, you know, it will make uh, people aware yeah. at the side of the truck that the truck is turning left. So that's very handy when you're stopped at a set of traffic lights and a cyclist is yes. right there. Yes. And you have your indicator turning to the left and it's giving them an audible warning. I am turning left and flashing the light. Correct. Very Correct. good. Correct. Very good. So, you know, you yeah. can see with the, uh, you know, the vision on this side of the uh, the truck is, is very good with the curved view window. But, you know, cyclists, you know, t traditionally will try and park themselves out the way anyway. Right. So fortunately where that system sat there is, is probably where they're going to sit next to the truck. So, you know, they'll have quite a loud um, audible warning telling them that the truck's going to turn. I got a flash there from somebody driving a very nice Bentley Vent Bentayga. I don't oh. think they know me, Harvey. Well, I think it's, I think it's the truck he was flashing, Stavros. Not the, not you. Not me. Not you. I think he's quite happy to see a nice uh, new X uh, XF yeah. on the road. Definitely not me, anyway. No. <laughs> It's very comfortable at the back, the yes. four bags on the back axle. You see, this is something Scania don't do. They don't like bringing in Scanias into Ireland, especially with four bags at the back axle. Crazy. I've no idea why. Crazy. Well, we don't have any weight on the trailer, no. so no. it's an easy test. Yes. And it is, it is fairly quiet in the inside of the cab as well. Definitely. Yeah. And we have our three-stage engine brake as well. Yeah, we'll try that at the end of the motorway yeah. section just to uh, to see what you think to that. Yeah, I'm just looking at the top angle here on this digital vision system. I would like it to be wider right, up okay. on top. Okay. Yeah, it would be nice if it was a bit wider up top. I almost feel like I'm kind of going, going like this forward. to try and look. Yes. <laughs> it's not making any difference, no, Harvey. No, no. Uh, uh, Harvey, the comfort. It's very nice, isn't it? Yeah. And remember this 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 front air suspension and air suspension for the cab as well. Yeah, all so right. you can get a full air ride on it yeah. if you if you that way inclined, but you know, I think you'll agree it's yeah. uh, it's very comfortable, isn't it? But I stood up in the middle of this earlier, Harvey. I mean I can stand up fully in this cab in the middle and I'm six foot two. Yes. So I've yeah. got I've got about an inch over my head. So obviously in the XG and XG plus you've got a lot more head space. Definitely. And bigger beds of course Definitely. because it's a uh, bigger cab yes but we're going to hop into the XG plus um, just before we finish off the video after our test drive but we are actually on a productive test drive Harvey <laughs> because we're actually dropping a trailer we are we're dropping a trailer <laughs> yeah. back for a customer so that's so uh, that's good news isn't it I am now working for Lancashire Dan <laughs> <laughs> I'm moving to the UK <laughs> absolutely uh, my father won't be happy with that <laughs> at all. Uh, yeah, and, but uh, no, it's uh, it feels nice on the road. It's all right, it does. Isn't it? Yeah, it does feel nice. And one thing about the suspension on the front as well, it's not too wallowy. You know, like air suspensions on the front are are nice, Harvey, right? But yeah. sometimes, like say for instance, you're down a back road, they, they just say, tend to be a bit on the wallowy side you know to give you a proper feel of the road that's the difference i felt going from the r560 into the s580 yes that's just my finding on it so sometimes when it's moving a lot the suspension can compensate quick enough yeah. so you get this you get a counter effect with the suspension whereas a you know spring is a lot more you know a lot more um, robust isn't it a bit more firmer ride the visibility out here that's very good yes very good yes, yes. you know exactly. but yeah, and the windscreen, I've no problem with the windscreen whatsoever, the visibility outside that is very good. So, yeah, the improvements were long overdue, Definitely. there's no question about it. Definitely. You know, as we said, 33% yeah. bigger windscreen and side windows over, yeah. the, uh, over the old model. 
so the three engine types we 450 and the 480 we're in now yes. and then there's the 530 correct correct so 450 is the mx11 yeah uh, and then the 480 and the 530 the mx13 engines so 13 liter and you told me that the 480 that we're in yeah develops the same torque as the previous 510 that's correct yeah in, in, yeah. The, in 12 gear top gear two two thousand five hundred newton meters of torque yeah. which is pretty impressive you know the whole idea is as we're crossing terrain the truck wants to stay in top gear as long as possible yeah to, you know to give us the uh, the best fuel efficiency for the truck and then on the xg plus then you've got 530 horsepower yes but in 11th gear it's 2,550 newton meters, and Correct. then it goes up to 2,700 2, yeah. in top gear. Correct. Correct. So all of this is done to save on fuel. 100%. Yeah. yeah. We're obviously uh, committed to reduce fuel, which reduces operators' costs. But on the, you know, the byproduct of that as well is if we reduce the fuel burn, we also reduce the CO2 yeah. emissions of the truck as well. So it's, uh, you know, it's a win-win for everybody really. Okay, we've just arrived at Matthew Kibble's yard and we're going to park next to his brand new XF. Let's have a look. So there is Matthew's new DAF XF, 480 horses, and he has opted for the normal mirrors, as you can see, and the sun visor. So, yeah, I wouldn't really be too pushed about having the sun visor, but I suppose some people want it. And this man is washing trailers. Fair play. <laughs> it's a big yard he has down here. So I've just dropped the XG. Now we need to head back to Lancaster DAF to show you the XG Plus. Let's go. So I'm now in DAF's flagship truck, the XG Plus. This is their most spacious cab. This one has 530 horsepower. Look at this, <laughs> the amount of space over my head. So let me just quickly walk you around the cab here just to give you a look. So we have the brown inserts on the full leather covered steering wheel. And then we have full leather finish on the seats then we have a beige look to the base of the dashboard and more brown up here on top and then silver inserts all along the vents here as well and if I move up on top we have more silver inserts on the top lockers and then at the back wall another silver finish in the storage compartment there on the back and yeah the bunk is the very same size as the XG and also the top one so I, sadly I can't show you the outside of the truck because this truck is sold and the owner doesn't want to show the outside yet and yeah we just have normal mirrors on this example and they have opted for the digital vision system there at the corner so that's the screen for that but yeah that's how it looks on the XG Plus so that's where I'm going to wrap it up from Lancashire DAF here in Preston in the UK I look around the XG Plus XF and XG quite a nice truck on the road nice and comfortable of course with the four airbags yeah I really did it's a nice truck definitely is a um, couple of uh, small areas that need improving but yeah overall nice spacious truck uh, just lock it up there there we go so I do hope you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll be back again hopefully sometime again here in Lancaster Daft to do more videos there's an electric truck I have to video and yeah, there'll be more coming. So thanks a lot for watching guys and I'll chat to you then. Cheers! I took a wrong turn. You did. You this, did. this won't make the cut. <laughs> 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 no, I, I should have went right at the roundabout. No, we're going to reverse in it, can't we now? Yeah. Anyway, it gives us a time to um, yeah. uh, check out the uh, digital vision system in reverse. In reverse mode. Yeah.